This is a Sports Catastrophe production. Hey there, hello there, hello there. It's Jeff Kurt Diamond welcoming you to another Sports Catastrophe birthday boy. I know this is a little controversial, but follow me on this. So, anyway, everyone knows who Stephen A. Smith is. He's 54 years old today on October the 14th. He's a commentator on First Take. He's a personality. He makes a lot of frequency appearances on Sports Center as an NBA analyst, and he's a columnist and columnist. I hope I that didn't sound right, but anyway. So Stephen A. Smith was born in the Bronx in 1957, the fifth of six children. Uh, so. He actually attended a Fashion Institute of Technology for one year. Really? He got his basketball scholarship to attend Winston-Salem State University, a historical black university in Winston-Salem, and played basketball under the Hall of Fame coach Clarence Gaines. He was still on the team. He wrote a column for the university newspaper saying that Gaines should retire due to health issues. He can't believe he would do that to his own coach all that. But he graduated with a Bachelor of Arts degree in Mass Communication. Mass Communication, of course. So he began his print media career with Winston-Salem Journal, Greensboro News, and the New York Daily News. He had a position in 94 as the writer for the Philadelphia Inquirer, and he reported on the Sixers as their NBA communist, and he was just a general sports communist. In 2007, they announced that Smith would no longer be writing columns and would be demoted back to General Simon Reporter. Smith basically was gone by 2008. So, however, by radio, he was broadcasting for ESPN Radio by 2008. So, he was doing radio stuff. And on TV, he basically was the main host of First Take and has been part of an analyst on various Eastman programs known for his provocative analysis and hour delivery. Smith start, had an hour-long show on Eastman called Quite Frankly with Stephen A. Smith and was canceled in 2007 so he concentrated on basketball doing being an NBA analyst. It would appear on a lot of shot a lot of ESPN shows. So, he was even an anchor of Sunday Morning Sports Center. Okay. Smith wanted to leave ESPN in 2009 and tried to move in different directions. But Smith did come back to ESPN eventually, and by 2012, he would be taking, joining first take as a, on a permanent basis under format called Embrace Debate, which he would debate against Skip Bayless. However, Smith would make some big controversies. First of all, in 2014, he made controversial remarks that women may provoke domestic abuse in regards to the domestic violence situation involving Ray Rice and his wife. After criticism of the remarks, Smith apologized for his words on a taped segment. He was given a one-week suspension. Later on in 2014, he decided to multi-year deal with ESPN for $3 million a year. When, when in 2015, talking about Chip Kelly trading away LaShawn McCoy to Buffalo for Kiko Alonso. Smith said, Chip Kelly has made decisions over the last couple years that, dare I say, left a few brothers feeling uncomfortable. And, of course, it was believed that Smith hinted that Chip Kelly's roster moves, the McCoy trade, letting Jeremy Macklin leave for Kansas City and the release of Deshaun Jackson might be racially motivated. McCoy admitted that while he respected Kelly as a head coach, he didn't see eye to eye with him. McCoy said that he also believes some of the roster moves were racially motivated. Kelly did say that the roster moves had nothing to do with race. It has to do with finding the right players that fit well into his team. And Smith defended his comments by saying he never used the form of the word racism to imply that Kelly was a racist. Sure. Anyway, Smith was criticized in 2015 for a comment he made about female soccer players during the 2015 FIFA Women's World Cup. 
Sorry about that. Um, while on Sports Center, a replay was shown of a goal on Norway against Germany. And Tim Ledler pointed out that the German players forming the wall turned their heads as the ball went by and spoke to the players might not want to mess up their hair. Unfortunately, the comment was criticized as being sexist and in poor taste. He's being talked to Smith, and he did apologize for everything. Jean Renee Smith has done a few things and all that. He's even been in General Hospital as a TV reporter in 2007. And he appeared every year since 2016, at least once on General Hospital. So anyway, Stephen A. Smith has two daughters. He says, that I couldn't go through with the marriage because it didn't work out. Matter of fact, I just told my sister that the other day, not even business. Something about my job or my money. This is not a discussion. You're going to answer when I want to give you an answer. However, he's been making a lot of things. He has a first take catchphrases. First catchphrases was his blasphemous. He also talks about Aaron Rodgers as a bad man. All that. And he even wore Rodgers jerseys on a couple of occasions. He has a hatred towards the Cowboys and all that. A song was even made about Smith's hatred of the Cowboys. His knowledge about hockey has been terrible. Well, obviously, yeah. He knows nothing about hockey. And he still says tie games still exist in that sport. But the NHL abolished ties during, following the lockout of 2005. And he doesn't know much, despite the presence of three hockey teams from the New York area that, in which he grew up. However, in most recent years, after ESPN got broadcasting rights as of 2021 season. Smith would talk about hockey more often on both First Take and Stephen A's world. He even roasted Connor McDavid and Leon Dreisaitl after they got swept by the Jets and equated the Leafs' play failures to that of the Dallas Cowboys. Okay, fair enough. He doesn't like recreational marijuana. But also, Stephen A. Smith is known for one thing and one thing only in the world of Sports stuff, booking sports commentating. His frequent mistakes in predicting who would win the NBA Finals. There's a YouTube video out there that says all of Stephen A. Smith's wrong picks during the NBA, wrong NBA moves. And, you know, he would always pick the wrong team. He was a favorite. He liked LeBron. He would pick Cleveland a couple of times in their rivalry with Golden State. Golden State would also... He would also pick Golden State when Cleveland won the title in 2016. Well, I mean, Golden State did go 73-9. So, no big deal. So, yeah, he would often get it wrong. Obviously, he got the Raptors pick wrong in 2019 against the Warriors. But, I mean, how many American networks were predicting the Raptors to win the title? I mean, it didn't matter. I mean, the, the Raptors fed off the anti-Raptor bias and finally won a title. I mean, I know being a Toronto sports fan can be helpful, harmful to your health, but at least the Raptors won a title a couple years ago. Can't believe it. it's only been two years since they won the title. But anyway, my regrets. He's good. He's a lean, mean motherfucker, but, you know, he's a little controversial for my boy. Anyway, I'm Jeff Diamond. Adieu.